What's up guys? So, I have a very special package here. I have been trying to decide on a new helmet because my Icon Armada is all I've ever known. I've had two of them. And now that we're getting serious about the track, I think it's time to upgrade. So, I did a poll. I was thinking about doing the HJC ARFA 11 and I was looking in between the Carbon and the Jarbon. I asked for a lot of people's opinions, got a lot of good information. I also had somebody recommend a helmet I didn't even have on my radar and ultimately ended up going completely away from the HJC. So I'm excited to show you guys what is in the box. I have been greatly anticipating it, so let's open it. Got my little dragon knife. We're gonna break this helmet in on the dragon, so very excited for that. Try not to destroy my bike in the process here. I'm so excited. <laughs> non slice your bike. All right. So, I'm going to pretend it doesn't come out in China. And pretend we didn't open the box upside down. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It was labeled upside down. All right, ready? Yeah. Really Here, I'll hold this one. Hang on. I got to I got to secure the knife. All right. What do we have here? <laughs> oh, scorpion! I used to have a scorpion, by the way. I had the XO 400 years ago. I actually wrecked in that helmet, and it held up perfectly fine. This is a much nicer scorpion than I had. I'm so excited right now. All right, so we've got a pin lock. We've got an extra shield. And we've got a helmet. So that is one of the great features of this helmet is that it comes with both a clear shield and a tinted shield. So I've already got those options. Yeah, without having to pay extra. So that is already a great cost benefit here. I'll move this. Whoop. All right, oh, the moment of truth. It smells like a new helmet. I haven't <laughs> smelled this smell in so long. So little, um, Info, when I got this bike, I had a green spastic Armada that I absolutely loved, but it obviously does not match this bike. So I had to pick one out. I wasn't totally in love with that white Chantilly one, but, oh my gosh. I wasn't totally in love with that Chantilly, but in time I did like it. It had the, uh, I added some red to it to make it match my bike by adding my little Kiss of Death logo, which is like my little signature, you know, lipstick, all that. All right, <laughs> so here, this is the new lid. It is. <laughs> wow. Look at that beauty. Yeah, spin it around so real we slow. We have a gloss carbon fiber EXO R1 Air, meaning that this is actually going to have the, I don't know all the, the specifications of it quite yet, but it has the air pump system so that I can be on the track and get a bit tighter, more snug fit for the greatest safety and then when i'm say riding the street not that it should be any less snug but you have that adjustability yeah you definitely want a little bit snugger on this track though if possible so one of the benefits spinning around is that when we, we were looking at the r411 for, for heather because i have an r411 but mine is um the chakri um, so one of the benefits for this helmet versus the HJC R411 is that if you get it in carbon fiber in the HJC R411, it is only DOT rated and is not ECE certified. So this helmet, carbon fiber, and it's also ECE, ECE and DOT. So and this is going to meet the standards. That is why I had such a hard time deciding between the R411 carbon or the Jarbon because I didn't want to invest in a new helmet and not have that ECE certification and potentially not be able to use that helmet on certain tracks. So I was looking at a different Scorpion and I was iffy, not totally sure the red was gonna match, you know, the aesthetic just wasn't quite there, but I was thinking about it. And then as I went to pull the trigger on it, I actually came across this one. And as soon as I realized it was ECE and DOT certified, my decision was made. I'm already in love. So. And we also have to thank Brandon. Absolutely. Brandon over at, at Revzilla. 
Yep, his reviews were really helpful. That's how I knew it was gonna be the right choice. Actually, there were quite a few people that have reviewed this and have been really helpful with that. So I love our community. I really do. Cause you guys have really helped like, lead me to this. And uh, I think I, I need to try it on now, yeah? That, I gotta admire it just a little okay. bit. Oh, bring it over here in the sun. Okay. I just wanna see it in the sun, just a little bit. Looks good with your truck too. <laughs> Minimal branding. Minimal branding, which I like. It's a little bit larger looking than my Armada is, just. But it is. Easier, but it, it's, it's also lighter than my HTC R411. Now my HTC R411 isn't um, carbon fiber, but my R411 is I think 3.5 pounds, and this one's 2.6, which is insane. How light does it feel? It's like nothing. I, I cannot <laughs> wait. In this. Yeah, it's probably going to be really very aerodynamic. So the inside real quick, I don't know if you know the system just yet, but the inside real quick, there's a pump up system. Um, we'll have to figure that out. But the cheek pads, what she's saying is there's a little air pocket on the inside liner of the helmet and you pump that up and it tightens the cheek pads just a little bit. So we will work that system out and uh, do a follow up for you guys. Yeah. But it, it does do that. I just, I, we, we haven't really <laughs> figured that out quite yet. Obviously, just pulling it right out of the box. Anyone that has this helmet, any kind of the Scorpion EXO, has told me how much they love riding in it, how well it fits. So I cannot wait to put this thing on. Maybe I, maybe I should put it on now. Try yeah. The ECU certification for the HTC R411 is a real big miss in my perspective because. They could have easily done that when their other R411s have ECE certification, but for some reason the carbon doesn't. Oh wow, that is definitely a different fit than I'm used to. Yeah. Is that a good thing? I can feel it's very snug. It, it definitely feels correct. Um, it's a little bit strange on my ears right now, but I think part of it is just adjusting to a new helmet. So. Try to move it around on your head? My cheeks, you can see my cheeks. Yeah, your cheeks are moving with it, which is what you want. You so. don't want a helmet that when you shake it, it just moves mm -hmm. and your face isn't moving with it. I can so you can see how it's kind of pushing <laughs> pushing her cheeks a little bit, like a little chipmunk. It's okay, because once I go to the mountains and I'm full of smiles the entire time, it'll break in. Yeah, so. yeah. but that's uh. what you want in a helmet. So turn around slowly. Let's get it a nice little... Oh, that looks really good. All right, so now I have to brand it. So let's see how uh, ungracefully I can remove this helmet right now. 